Last week on Downfall, Martin Mullen, a firefighter from South Boston, came to face his downfall. Ah, come on! Now, he's put all his winnings at risk as he goes for $25,000. Ah! Having panicked for the last time, Martin's best friend Eric is going on the belt himself. Can Martin and his friend avoid going over the edge and claim the $25,000 prize? Time to find out. Welcome back to Downfall. Martin was going for $25,000, but he panicked. And now his friend Eric is being placed on the belt oh, with the man. chance of going over the edge. So let's... Talk to Mr. Eric Asanya. How do you feel? What are you doing up here? Yeah, that's the million dollar question, honestly. I mean, I'm trying to think he doesn't like me. I don't know. But uh, this <laughs> is unbelievable. Is this a revenge thing? <laughs> that's it. That's it. Martin, remember, Eric can help you as long as he can, but this is very important. The answer has to come from you in order to count. And Eric, you can help as long as possible. But once you go over the side of the building, <laughs> Martin's on his own. Oh my God. So both of you, I want you to talk and decide which category you're going to choose. I want you to take this $25,000 home, because if you win it. this round, it stays with you no matter what. OK, so you ready to choose? You got well, it. You ready? OK. You got it. Hot tracks. Hot tracks. Hot tracks. Hot tracks. Hot tracks. Hot tracks. Chris, we're going hot tracks. Come on. All right, Martin, you said hot tracks? Hot tracks, it is. All right, hot tracks. <laughs> I'm going to read you clues about the top 10 digitally downloaded songs of 2009, according to Billboard magazine and Nelson Media. I'll give you the song's title. You name the artist or band that sings it. An artist or band may appear more than once. If you can name six of the 10 questions correctly, you're going to win $25,000. Come on, guys. Let's go. They need some love. Start the belt. Poker face. Um, Gaga, Lady Gaga. Correct. Single ladies put her Beyonce. Ring on. Beyonce. Beyonce. Correct. Love story. Pass. Pass. I got a feeling. Pass. Pass. Right round. Oh. Pass. Pass. Oh. Boom boom pow. Yeah. Richard. <laughs> Go pass it. Pass. Gives you hell. Pass. Heartless. Oh. Bye bye. No. Oh. Pass. Oh. Just dance. Lady Gaga. Oh. I'm yours. Pass. <laughs> Love story. Pass. <laughs> I got a feeling. Hot Tom. What the? Oh, man. Black Eyed Peas. Correct. Right round. Pass. Boom, boom, pow. Black Eyed Peas. You got it. Gives you hell. Ah. Oh, Martin. It's gone. My man. That's sexy right there. <laughs> God, Eric! That was awesome. Eric! What up? <laughs> Martin, you were a great contestant. So sorry you're leaving. But right now, you're going down. <laughs> Let's quickly check out what Martin missed. Love Story, Taylor Swift. Right Round, Flo Rida. Gives you hell, all American rejects, heartless Kanye West. I'm yours, Jason Mraz. Let's give a hand for Martin. There'll be more money, prizes, and contestants living on the edge right after this. Don't go anywhere. More downfall coming up. You almost pulled me over and knocked me off the edge. I tried. You know. Isha, that's a very beautiful name. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from the Bay Area up north. I uh, grew up outside of okay. Berkeley, California. Oh, in the yeah. Bay Area? Yeah, whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah. So my parents are total hippies. We had a nice little property where we grew our own vegetables, and corn was really good, tomatoes, amazing. Homegrown tomatoes. tomatoes are the best. I want to see you win some big money. Obviously. Let's walk over here and get ready to play downfall, right. OK? Don't walk too fast. We need to get tethered in. All right. This is very dangerous on top. Stand right here. We have our lovely Allie and Jamie getting ready to close it. Look at this. 
Wow, you guys are getting really good at that. My life is in your hands. Pisha, let's play Downfall. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. All right, there are seven rounds to the million dollars. Yes, in round one, you're playing for $5,000. And these incredible prizes that you see right here. First is obviously an aquarium. The fish are not real, however. Second of all, it's a dishwasher. Dance lessons for two. And of course, at the end of the conveyor belt, it's $5,000. Yeah. Right back there right. in cash. Now, obviously, we're not going to destroy the real prizes. The items that go over the edge are just replicas of the actual prizes. But they still crash and explode. They can all go over the edge along with your chance of taking home that prize if they do. Now, the last thing is, if the money goes over, Pisha goes over too. <sighs> the game okay. will be over if the money goes over, but that's not going to happen, is it? No. So, Pisha, here are the categories for your game. Each category has 10 questions. And they are Vive la France, love songs, out of this world, biopics, state nicknames, Bible characters, time for a laugh, what a dream team, and the X Factor. Let's go with out of this world. Sounds good. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I'm going to ask you a question about the solar system and its objects. If you can get four of the ten questions correct, you will win $5,000. Are you ready to see Pisha win some money? Start the belt. Our galaxy's name. Milky Way. Dwarf planet that shares the name of Vicky's dog. Correct. Its surface or boundary Mars. is the event horizon. Uh, Venus, uh, Mercury, pass. The brightest planet in the night sky. Uh, Mars. Venus. Correct. This comet appears about every 76 years. Haley's comet. Correct. Stop the bell. Oh, oh, look at the aquarium is going down. Yikes. There is a lake down in the streets of LA right now, but it doesn't matter because you have won $5,000. Yeah. And dancing, and dancing, and okay. dancing. But most importantly of all, you got the cash, you got the prizes. Congratulations. Let's take a look at the answers that you missed. Its surface or boundary is an event horizon. Black. Oh, oh. yeah. You got four out of five right, right off the bat. Congratulations. Very good. Back up the belt. Let's load up some new prizes. Pisha, you have a decision to make. You've got a dishwasher. You've got the giant disco ball slash dance lessons. Yes. And you've got $5,000. You can walk away with all of that right now, or you can stay here and play with us some more. If you stay, you can win these new prizes that have just rolled out of the belt. A wine refrigerator, a day spa package, and prime tickets to a Lakers game. Oh! Yeah, that's a good one. But most wow. importantly of all, there's $10,000 right back there in the belt that you can win as well. Yeah. So, Pisha, are you gonna stay and play, or are you gonna walk away? Here's the thing. What? I am planning on traveling around the world, and I just don't think five thousand dollars is gonna be enough to get me very far. So, so what are you I, saying? I'm gonna have to go ahead. Yes, yeah, she's going. And stay. She's staying. Let's go back to the categories. And you can tell us which category you want to choose. Vive la France, love songs, biopics, state nicknames, Bible characters, time for a laugh, what a dream team, or the X Factor. What does the BFF say? Um, yeah, I, I think biopics you might be good with. Better with the biopics? Yeah. All right, well, let's go with biopics. Biopics. Let's see what that entails. I'm going to tell you at the title of a biographical movie. You tell me the name of the real person whose life is the central subject of the film. If you can name five of the ten films, you'll win $10,000. Most importantly, you'll avoid your downfall. Okay. Start the belt. W. George W. Bush. Correct. The Aviator. Oh, starts with a J. Pass. Coal Miner's Daughter. <laughs> pass. Raging Bull. Oh. Uh... Pass. La Bamba. Oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, you know what? Wow, stop the bell. Okay, all I right. Panicked. You did panic. You I were did. the epitome of panicking. And you've now <laughs> forfeited all your other prizes that you had. But you were smart to hit the button. 
Let's see the questions that you missed. The aviator, Howard Hughes. Coal miner's daughter, Loretta Lynn, Sissy Spacek. Never would have gotten that. Raging Bull, Jake LaMotta. La Bamba? Richie Valen. I got, got that one yeah, as you soon got as one I... Just yeah. a little bit too late. But the good news is you hit the panic button, so you get a redo. We're going to back the belt up, but in the meantime, you forfeit the sauna and the Laker tickets. And you have to pay the price of putting either your supporter, your BFF on the belt, or your personal item. Which one is it going to be? I'm going to get rid of my personal thing before I'm going to get rid of my BFF. <laughs> All right. And what is your personal item, Pisha? Well, it was the very first Christmas present from my ex back in the day. It's okay. it's my guitar. A lot of good memories Let's with see it. The guitar given to you by your ex when? How long ago? Um, about ten years ago. Ten years ago. Girls, put Pisha's acoustic guitar on the belt, please. Here it goes. I can't believe I offered this up as my the, personal. Well, session. the good news is if you stop the belt before it goes over, you'll get it back safe and sound, in tune, and you can play many more songs. <laughs> you still have ten thousand dollars at stake at the end of the belt. Okay. So, Pisha, you're gonna have to pick another category. Which one is it gonna be? Let's go with love songs. It's fitting with the guitar, I guess. Absolutely. You might be able to play some of these songs because what you have to do is oh. I'll give you the name of a Billboard Top Ten song with love in its title. You tell me the artist or band that originally hit the charts with okay. that song. If you can name five of the artists, you'll win $10,000, save your guitar, avoid your downfall, and stay here with me. Okay. Start the belt. All you need is love. Beatles. Correct. Love Shack. B-52s. Correct. Love Me Tender. Elvis. Correct. Bleeding Love. Pass. Crazy Little Thing Called Love. Oh, oh, uh, crazy little thing called uh, Is that Elvis too? Who, uh, oh, uh, the queen. Correct, whole lot of love. Uh, Led Zeppelin. Correct, stop the belt, you got it! That's the one. Never would have guessed that. And it doesn't matter because your acoustic guitar is safe. Back up the belt. I'm going to change the prizes. But first, a lot of decisions tonight. Decisions, 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 yes. decisions. You can walk away with $10,000 or you can stay and play. Instead of $10,000, you're going to have $25,000. And if you win that $25,000, you keep it no matter what else happens. That's a lot of money. Now check out what else we've added to the belt to sweeten the deal for you. It's a lovely china cabinet, a pinball machine, oh. and Clarence the crash test dummy is telling you that you're gonna win a trip to the Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Oh my God. Wow, wow. That would be awesome. BFF is going nuts for oh, that. Yeah, yeah. No, she knows she's going yeah. wherever I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's part of the deal? She's part of the deal. Okay, yeah. so. With all these prizes, <laughs> are you going to stay or are you going to walk away? How can I say no to a man dressed like that? Lance the crash test dummy. I, I, I got to stay. I got to stay. She's going to stay. All right. Good job. <laughs> Pisha, I'm going to ask you to hold it right there. We're going to find out what happens to her when we come back with more downfall right after this. Stay there. Pisha is playing for $25,000 in cash. Also on the belt, we have the china cabinet, the pinball machine, the Ooh. trip to Mardi Gras, and of course, <laughs> at the back of the belt, you have $25,000 in cash. Oh, yeah. That stays with you no matter what happens. So to stop the belt and save those prizes in this third round, you're going to have to answer six out of the ten questions correctly. Let's get to the categories. It's time to make a very important decision. Vive la France, state nicknames, Bible characters. Time for a laugh. What a dream team and the X Factor. You guys like the X Factor. Keep cheering the X Factor. I'm, I'm kind of dying of curiosity to see what this X Factor category is. That okay. Let's go with it. The X Factor. I'm going with X Factor. It's official. Yes. Stamp it, lock it down. She's taking the X Factor. I'm going to give you the name of a famous female celebrity and the year of her infamous divorce. You tell me who became her ex-husband that year. If you can get six of the ten correct, you'll win $25,000. You'll avoid your downfall, and you get all these prizes as well. All right? 
Are you ready? Yes. Start the belt. Jennifer Aniston, 2005. Oh, correct. Britney Spears, 2007. Oh, Kevin Federline. Correct. Heather Locklear, 2007. Uh, Tommy Lee. Uh, Jones, Tommy Lee, pass. <laughs> Elizabeth Taylor, 1951. Oh, definitely pass. She's got too many. Cher, 1975. Sunny. Correct. Uh, Jessica Simpson, Day. 2006. Uh, Tom Cruise. Oh, uh, Sam Navarro. Correct. Stop the belt. She did it. Category, and you were like, I don't know if I'm gonna do it. You guys. She's thanking you guys. <laughs> wow. Let's go to the answers that you didn't get. From Heather Locklear, 2007. Oh, the Bon Jovi. Richie, Richie Sambo, Sam the Bon Jovi guy, right? Yes. Elizabeth Taylor, 1951. There's so many. Conrad Nikki Hilton. She must have been married to him for about a week, but it doesn't matter. You're going home with $25,000. Oh, the pressure is off. Great job. Back up the belt, guys. I'm going to change the prizes, but now, once again, it's decision time. Every time you keep playing, you risk losing those prizes. So if you go for it and win, you keep the prizes you've won, and you will win $50,000 in cash. Oh, my God, that's crazy. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. But on top of that, you know what I'm going to do? Because I like you. I'm going to sweeten the deal. I'm going to add some more prizes. To the belt. The prizes are getting bigger. The value is increasing. You've got a big giant screen TV, a 3D television, a baby grand piano, and of course, bring up the rear all the way in the back. It's the little tray with $50,000 in cash. So, to stop the belt and save those prizes in this fourth round, you'll need to correctly answer seven out of the ten questions. The belt is going to move. Do you want to leave or do you want to stay and play with us right now, tonight? Let's stay, let's do this. I think it's a good stay. decision. Just don't forget, no matter what happens, you get $25,000. I know, that's crazy. Player. Here are the categories you have left. Let's go with time for a laugh and see what happens. If I'm laughing or crying at the end of this round. Time for a laugh, and if you win, you're going to be uh, laughing all the way to the back. Oh, you see what I did there. That's a good one. That was a good one. For the very first Emmy for Outstanding Comedy Series was awarded to Lucille Ball's classic show, I Love Lucy, in 1953. Since then, dozens of sitcoms have won the prestigious award. I'll name a character from an Emmy-winning comedy show. You name the show title. Activate your funny bone, and if you can name seven of the sitcoms, you'll win $50,000. All right. You'll avoid your downfall. And you guys will stay right here. So we're looking for the show titles. Okay. You guys all set? Yes. Yeah. Start the bell. Benjamin Franklin, Hawkeye Pierce. Pass. Rose Nyland. Pass. Louis De Palma. Uh, taxi? Correct. Richard Fish. Uh, pass. Jack McFarland. Oh, uh, uh the, with Will and Grace. Correct. Roz Doyle. Olivia Kendall. You know what? Well, she it's hits done. The panic. It's done. The panic is done. You hit the button. Seven and ten is a lot. You sacrificed the remaining prize of the grand piano, okay. but you saved the chance for $50,000. Let's recap the questions that she missed. You can clap for that. Benjamin Franklin, Hawkeye Pierce, that would be MASH. Okay. Rose Nyland. Golden Girls, Richard Fish, that's Ally McBeal. Oh. Roz Doyle, Frazier. Okay. Olivia Kendall, The Cosby Show. All oh. great shows, none of which I've really ever seen. And it's irrelevant because you still have the chance for $50,000. We're going to back up the belt. $50,000 is on the line. The BFF is on the belt. When we come back right here on Downfall, don't go anywhere. Keisha has $25,000 guaranteed, and now she's playing 
for 50 G's, and her BFF, Brittany, is on the belt. She used her last panic. This is the price, so there's still a chance to keep this big money of $50,000. Are you excited to be on this belt? Oh, man, yes. This I mean, is it's, thrilling. When you're standing here looking over the edge, it's kind LA of skyline. unbelievable. I mean, they tell you this is going to happen, but you just don't quite understand what the harness is for until, until you're you standing here. here. But you guys had a strategy, Pisha was telling me, it's obviously working so far. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very important decision for you guys to pick your category. <laughs> OK, we could go with the state nicknames, and we'll just try to spit out the states as quickly as we can. OK. Guessing game, but calculated. Bible characters would be all you. Right. And you're only there for that long. It's not a lot of time. OK. It's looking shorter and shorter to me. <laughs> but we both have backgrounds in French. Let's do what we feel most comfortable with. We do know the states. Whether we know their nicknames or not, we can just keep shouting them out. Once I'm gone, you can keep shouting them out. <laughs> Don't even look at me dangling. <laughs> Don't be distracted. Right. Just keep hollering them out until that cash comes down. She knows what she okay. wants to do. We've got a dream team up here on downfall tonight, but ultimately it's your decision. So please let us know what's the category gonna be. We'll go with state nicknames. State nicknames, okay. I'll give you a nickname for one of the United States. You tell me the state. If you can get seven out of 10, you'll win $50,000 and avoid your downfall. How many states is there in the United States? There's 50. Wow, so you're on a roll already. Right. Brittany, are you ready to do this? I am. Are you ready to do this, Pisha? I am. Her parents took her all over this country. I mean, she's going to know this, whether she knows it or not. Oh. Don't forget, I still Thank need to hear the, the answers from you. Yes. So okay. scream them at me. I want both you guys to stay here. I want you to have $50,000. And as of right now, I want to start the belt. Here we go. The Garden State. New Jersey. New Jersey. Correct. The Empire State. New York. Correct. The Badger State. I have no idea. Bass. The Natural State. Oregon. Oregon. Washington. The, uh, Bass. Shoot. The Volunteer Tennessee. State. Tennessee. Tennessee. Correct. The Land of Enchantment. South Carolina. South Carolina. North Carolina. No. I don't know. Bass. The Sunshine Florida. State. Florida. Correct. The Sooner State. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Pass. The Silver State. I don't know. I don't know. Pass. The Gem State. I don't Arkansas, uh, Louisiana, uh, I love you, Brittany. I love you. Keep going. <laughs> the Badger Back State. The Badger State. Uh, the, the Wyoming. I don't know. Minnesota. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. It was amazing. <laughs> Your BFF uh, it's went awesome. over the edge. Thank you got fifty. You got, you got twenty five thousand dollars. It's been a pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. Pisha did a great job. The money went over, Pisha. That means you're going over. Oh my God. That category was your downfall, and you're going down. <laughs> Here's what Pisha missed: the Badger State, Wisconsin; the Natural State, Arkansas. Land of Enchantment, New Mexico. Sooner State, Oklahoma. Silver State, Nevada. Gem State, Idaho. She's still got $25,000 here tonight. That's not bad for a night's work. Coming up next, another contestant and another shot at $1 million right here in Downfall. Don't go anywhere. I will find you if you do. I'm a first grade teacher from Corona, California. All right, first grade teacher, congratulations. That's a tough job. Yeah, These tough kids job. kids are like lemmings, they run all over the place. I've got to just pull them in. You've got to pull them back, you got to be physical. Yeah. you got to be physical tonight, right? I'm going to be physical, yes. What's your favorite thing about being a first grade teacher? Um, I love just teaching the kids and making them learn, reading, writing, just watching the growth in them. That's great, yeah. 
I like, I like too how you say you're gonna make them learn. I'm making them Whether learn. Whether they want I'm to or them. not. Yeah. Learn! <laughs> Get in the closet <laughs> if you don't learn. Are you married? Yes, I'm married. I have a beautiful wife named Dawn, who I actually met at my school. She was a substitute teacher. Asked her out one day at lunchtime, and uh, the rest is history. Everybody say, aww. aww. <laughs> it's like, a, like an Archie Andrews comic romance. I and she's a first grade teacher. Excellent. So what are you going to do with the money if you win, uh, let's say, $1 million? <laughs> can you even imagine that? Oh, I can imagine it. Oh, you can imagine it. What would uh, you do if you got it? I'm going to pay off some debt. Uh, mm -hmm. My wife had some school loans that I didn't really know about. Ah. And so uh, I'm going to pay those off first. That was one of those things, as soon as you said, I do, she said, well, so do I with these bills. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what happened? Uh, kind of, yeah. Oh, okay. And then I have uh, three children, so I want to start a college fund for them. And, uh, okay. So uh, this is like an all-American guy right here. Yeah. We're going to help you win and live the American dream tonight. I hope so. Are you ready to play downfall? Oh, I am ready. Ready. Come on, let's, let's come go. down here and get hooked up, okay, Eric? We can't go too close to the edge until we've been tethered up by our experts, Jamie and Ali, the most beautiful tethering experts I've ever seen. Aren't they hot? They're hot. I can't even see them. I can just feel the radiation emanating from them. Ooh, okay, we're all hooked up. Are you ready to play some downfall? I am ready. Let's go. The seven rounds of the million dollars, Eric. It pays off a lot of debt, doesn't it? In round one, you're playing for $5,000. Yes, and these incredible prizes. First is a year's worth of bottled water. Woo! All right, next is a stereo. <laughs> and right there, third, is a basketball hoop. Basketballs included. And of course, at the very back, the $5,000 in cash. Woo! Now, obviously, Eric, we're not going to destroy the real prizes, but these replicas still crash and explode like you wouldn't believe. They could all go over the edge with your chance of taking home that prize if they do. You understand? I understand. Most importantly of all, if that money goes over the edge, then Eric goes over the edge as well, and the game is done. We don't want that, do we? No. No, no I do not want to go over the edge. We want you to stay right here. So, Eric, here's your categories. There's 10 questions in each category. For your first round, you have to get four correctly. And they are Blinded by Science, The Calendar, Seen Here, Out to the Ball Game, A-list Celebrities, World Leaders, Ingredients, Bookstore, All About the Sea. All right. So take your time. Uh, Pick one that you think you can get right. You can play these categories in any order that you want to. So talk to me, brother. Which one do you want to do first? I'm kind of liking world leaders. Let's try world leaders right now. Okay, world leaders. I'm going to give you the name of a past or present world leader. You tell me the country that they lead or have led. Okay. If you can name four of the ten world leaders, you'll win $5,000, and you will avoid your downfall. You got it? Yes. You were looking for the country that they have led. Start the belt. Indira Gandhi. Uh, India. Correct. Golda Meir. Uh, Australia. Uh, New England. Uh, I don't know. Pass. Juan Perón. Uh, Colombia. Um, Ecuador. Uh, Col uh, Brazil. Uh, pass. Fidel Castro. Cuba. Correct. Nelson Mandela. Africa. South Africa. Correct. Robert Mugabe. Australia. Uh, London. Canada. London. Uh, pass. Charles de Gaulle. France. Correct. Stop the bell. Oh, man. The only thing you lost was the synthetic water, which is now raining down. Someone's standing there going, whoa, it's so clear outside, but it's raining down here. Let's go to the board and find out the answers that you did not get. Yeah, what are those? Golda Meir, you said New England. I said everything, yes. I don't remember first grade too much, but I'm pretty sure that New England is not a country. All right. Thanks. So I'm going to look stupid, I know. But Israel go. is, and Israel, that's what okay. good old Golda is the leader of. Juan Perón, Argentina. Robert Mugabe to Zimbabwe. That's it. You did good. All right. That's I not a bad start. Yeah, you passed. You passed. You can tell he's a teacher, so I passed. <laughs> you get A for effort I got on that one, Eric. Outstanding. Oh, O for outstanding. Well, not quite, because <laughs> you lost the water. Oh, we're going yeah. to have to clean that up down there. Someone's going to have to be mopping all night long. Back up the belt. Let's get some new prizes on here. But in the meantime, Eric, you're going to have to make a decision on whether you want to keep the $5,000, the basketball hoop, and the stereo, or do you want to risk this, stay here and play with us, and have the chance at winning $10,000 here on Downfall. And to sweeten the pot a bit, I'm going to add some more prizes, a home video camera kit, 
skis and snowboards, an electric guitar and amplifier, and of course, at the very end, the $10,000 in cash. What are you gonna do? $5,000 is a lot of money, man. Yes, uh, it is. I'm pretty frugal. Uh, they call me the coupon king. I use coupons everywhere. But, uh... Hold on a second. The coupon king? Let's pass that up, yeah. All right. I love coupon using coupons. King. Yeah, why not? Okay. Well, if you win $10,000, you can put the coupons away for a while. Yeah. I I'm going to stay and play. I'm gonna All play. right. Yeah. That shows some guts right there. <laughs> now, Eric, to stop the belt and save these prizes in the second round, you need to correctly answer five out of the ten questions correctly. So if you're ready, let's choose a category and win you some more cash, all right? Save those coupons for you. What's your strategy, Eric? That's, what are you uh, thinking? I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking uh, I should pick a medium one right now for myself, so... How do you mean a medium one? A medium difficulty for okay. me. I'm going to save those easy ones for the million dollars, so... Um, I'm gonna go for ingredients. Ingredients. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna tell you the name of a popular food dish. You tell me what its main ingredient traditionally is according to the Food Lover's Companion. If you can name five of the 10 ingredients correctly, you'll win $10,000 and you'll avoid your downfall and continue to stay up here with me. Let's hear it for Eric. Let's get him ready, come on. Start the belt. Guacamole. Uh, avocado. Correct. Marinara sauce. Tomato. Tomato. Correct. Baba ganache. Uh, I have uh, Baba no ganache. one knew. Uh, pass. Risotto. Uh, noodles. Uh, uh, rice. Correct. Hummus. Uh, vegetable. Uh, uh, hummus. Oh, uh, uh, pass. Black cheese. Uh, potatoes. Correct. Oh, Sauerkraut. Uh, oh, what's it called? Uh, uh, um, Lettuce, uh, um, oh, pass. How many? Uh, apples, uh, I don't know, pass. Borscht. Uh, pass. Frittata. Uh, fruit. Apples, bananas. Uh, I don't know, pass. Baba ganoush. Uh, pass. Hummus. Uh, uh, ah, I'm gonna stop. Pause. Oh, <laughs> He panics. I am terrible at that one. You came okay. pretty close, Eric. You came close. But you were smart enough to hit the panic button, so that means you're going to get a redo. You're going to have to pay the price. Before we go to that, let's see the answers that you did not get. Yeah. Baba ganoush, eggplants. Thank you. Hummus, chickpeas. Okay. Sauerkraut, cabbage. I couldn't think of that word. You said lettuce, right. but cabbage. Yeah. Hominy, corn, corn. Borscht. My grandma would be so mad at you. Beets, it's beet soup. Frittata, eggs. Sorry. Ingredients. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, that's all right. That's all okay, because right. you still have a chance to win $10,000, which okay. is good. So what you have to do, Eric, in order to redo and get a new chance, is either put your supporter on the belt or your personal item. I'm gonna go with a personal item here. Personal item, yes. okay. So before we back up the belt, Let's find out what your personal item is. My personal item is actually kind of a surprise to my uh, wife. I uh, told her I was bringing my surfboard, but I actually brought a clock that I, my mom gave us. And uh, she loves the clock, but I cannot stand it. So it's uh, going over. Your wife likes this clock, but you don't? I cannot stand that thing. It's not going to my house. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Do not move from that chair. I will get you if you do. We'll be right back with more downfall. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Downfall. So far tonight, Eric has won a stereo, a basketball hoop, and $5,000. Before the break, he decided to risk all that to win $10,000, but he panicked. And now he has to put his wife's favorite clock on the belt to stay in the game. If you stop the belt, before the clock goes over, your wife will get that lovely Christmas clock back, and it's so nice. And more importantly, you will win $10,000 in cash. Okay? Let's go. So let's see what categories are still here for Mr. Eric to peruse. Blinded by science, the calendar, seen here, out to the ball game, A-list celebrities, bookstore, all about the sea. I'm 
thinking the calendar. I'm thinking the calendar. Calendar? Hopefully, yeah. I do calendar every day in first grade, so hopefully I know some stuff about the calendar. Okay. Well, let's see what it Monday, says. Monday, Tuesday. All right, here we go. I'm going to ask you questions about some national holidays and observances. If you can get five out of the ten correct, you'll win $10,000 and avoid your downfall. Okay. Start the belt. Jewish holiday known as Day of Atonement. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. A month? What'd you say? The name of the holiday. Oh, the name of the holiday. Oh, my goodness. Pass. I don't know. Federal holiday observed the last Monday in May. Oh, Memorial Day. Correct. Month during which the U.S. celebrates Flag Day. A month. Uh, April, May, June, July, August. June. U.S. state which held the first Arbor Day. Uh, Washington, uh, Maryland, Virginia. Pass. Holiday formerly known as Armistice Day. Veterans Day. Correct. U.S. federal holiday observed the second Monday in October. Um, oh, no! Uh, second Monday in October, uh, Columbus Day. Correct. Date of St. Patrick's Day. Uh, March 17th. Correct! Yeah! I think you won twice because you got rid of that clock as well. Woo! Everybody in here is going crazy except for your lovely wife. <laughs> She's not too excited. You've been talking about strategy the whole time. Was that your strategy? Yeah. Was, I, were you pretending that you didn't I, know until yeah. the clock went over? Then you just went, one, two, three, go. Jewish holiday, I know what that was, but I needed a little more time for that clock to it go over. It just goes to show, you have to pay attention to the category. It wasn't the months, it was the uh, name of the holiday. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go to the ones you didn't get. January? Jewish holiday known as the Day of Atonement. <laughs> Yom Kippur. Okay. U.S. state which held the first Arbor Day. Nebraska. Nebraska. That's it. Okay, hey. You got down to 10,000. Yeah. All right, that's not bad. Yeah. Here we go. But now you have a decision to make, okay? You can walk away with $10,000, the stereo and the basketball hoop, or you can stay and play a little longer, but instead of $10,000, it's going to be $25,000. Oh, Check out what else we've added to the belt to sweeten the deal for you, my man. A $3,000 home renovation gift card, a riding lawnmower, and a windsurf right. board. All right, all right. And of course, at the back of the belt, 25 grand. So, my man, are you gonna stay or are you gonna walk away? That is a lot of money, but uh... Very frugal. I'm going on, I'm staying. Okay, he's gonna stay. Here's the categories that you got left, Eric. You gotta choose a good one so you can win $25,000 in cash. Put it up on the board. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with Blinded by Science. Blinded oh, by Science. Oh, okay. shit. Are you a man of science, Eric? Uh, I don't know if I wanna say that, but yes, I, I think I'm all right at science. You are a teacher? I am a science teacher. Science is a subject? Yeah, it is. Blinded by science. I'm gonna name an important scientific breakthrough in the first name of the scientist or scientists most often credited with that breakthrough. You have to tell me the last name of these scientists. Remember that. If you can name six of the 10 scientists, you'll win $25,000 guaranteed and you'll avoid your downfall. You ready for hey, 25? Ready. Let's go. Come on, you can win 25 here, audience. Start the belt. Three laws of motion, Isaac. Newton. Correct, general Einstein. relativity. Correct, natural selection. Uh, Charles Darwin. Correct, the antibiotic basis for penicillin. Um, Hamilton, uh, uh, pass. Lightning Franklin. is electrical, correct. Heliocentric model of the solar oh, system. Uh, Copernicus. Correct, polio vaccine. Uh, uh, pass. Radium, Marie and Pierre. Jury. $25,000, you got a riding lawnmower, you got a windsurf board modeled by Clarence the Crash Test Dummy. <laughs> Life is good here at Downfall. Let's take a look at the ones that he missed. The antibiotic basis for penicillin, Alexander Fleming. Polio vaccine, Jonas Salk. Salk. Yeah, that's kind of one of those never, ones. Never, you know what, it doesn't one. matter. It doesn't matter. Forget about Jonas Salk. Yeah. You got uh, all the money, you got the prizes, but now you've got a decision to make, sir. You can walk away with $25,000 right now, or you can stay and play. Let's check out what else we've added to the belt to sweeten the deal. You can see there's a big pair of electric motorcycles. We've got just one of them on there, but you can take your wife for a ride on the pair of electric motorcycles. An arcade game. 
All right. It's kind of one of those old school stand-ups. And of course, at the very end, $50,000 on right. the back of the belt. So are you going to walk away with 25 grand and all your prizes, or do you want to stay and play, Eric? What do you think? We're out of time tonight. Next week, it's going to be crunch time for Eric as he goes for the one million dollars. That's it for this week. Next time, there'll be more contestants, more pressure, more prizes, and more panic. Yeah, one thing is certain, we will still have one million dollars up for grabs from downfall, high above downtown Los Angeles. I'm Chris Jericho. Good night. Oh, yeah. Starts now on ABC.